Hey there guys, I'm Dengs564 and this is continuation of our Let's Play of Legends of Aizenwald and, and well yeah, uh, I actually found the way to do it so all you need to do is basically just uh, move a little bit further and not go further than this uh, gravestone and you can just walk right through without undead being activated so now we can just get to the thing and grab the mirror and that will be great uh, can't believe I didn't try it <laughs> right away but I was thinking that I will have to fight the undead again I forgot I saved right after I defeated the undead so that made it way way easier okay now I have flying mirror um, Actually, I probably replace, should replace Malachite Ring in instead of uh, Hawk Ring. Because melee attack is not doing nothing for me. Really? So... Let's do it like this. I will probably give it to some sort of a melee character when I get one. The Malachite Ring. But this Nocturnal Combat is very, very good for the Ranger. Ranged character, I mean. Okay. So, for now we're good. And let's get the hell out of here. Yeah. Shouldn't be a problem from, from here on out. Let's just get towards the guy. Good. Okay, whew. I can't believe it was that easy. Just walk there and grab it. I just it just happened to be that I went a little bit too far. Because I thought that the lake was the marker and I need to go from the lake. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Whatever you say, ghost. Now I have uh, silver attack. I am not afraid of you, I guess. <laughs> Even though it's probably not uh, affecting them. Okay. So. Welcome, good lady. Don't be startled. We are all friends here. Where am I? And who are you? We're just common people. By what circumstances you are our guest? How did you, how did I get here? Yeah, we we know basically everything's fine. Probably we need to have some get ourselves some uh, melee people here. Stat. Hmm. Nice armor, dude. There's some bandits over there. A lot of them as well. And a lot, even no less bandits, but one of them is better armed. So, we need to get over there and get an audience. Well, before we do that, we need to go ahead and uh, get into the town, maybe. I should probably increase speed. Who can we hire here? Not the people I want. Can I get to the castle and uh, hire people there? No. Hmm. You know what? Hiring some monks doesn't sound that bad as well. Nope. Is there no people who, who are providing with some, like... Maybe nobles. I want nobles. Nope.
Okay. What do we have here? Nope. Uh, there's a... There's a town there. We might hire someone there. And nope. There's some mountain bandits somewhere over there. Quite a lot of them too. I'll hire some people. Well, there is a noble. There is a shitty footman. So you will definitely grab that. Uh, grab that kettle helm. Grab that thing. Uh, melee attack, sure. And even more initiative? Sure, why not? I'm not sure how useful this thing is, but... Grab it. Ooh, it's a fancy looking sword. I'm trading blow. How does it do? I think it like reuses armor or something. Let's sell this, let's sell that. Let's sell this stack of things. Okay, and we'll keep r the rest, I think. I still want someone who is better trained than, than those guys are, that are here. Uh, do you want to talk about anything? Nope. Excuse me, you uh, have the look of someone from the south. You're not wrong, I'm Lachenstein. How did you get here? By the river or overland through uh, Erg's lands? Through uh, the mountains, why do you ask? The prowler of our abbey, Father Mortis, described someone who looks very much like you. We are invited to a humble abode, uh, Swarthen Abbey. It's situated on the shore of the lake of the same name, in the Fishing County. You'll find it easy, I'll mark it on your map. Okay. Widow's request. Oh, wandering nobleman, wait, I need your help. I see my foolish son, William together with his friends took it into his head to teach the uh, Arab brow writers from Gazette a lesson a glad, 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 uh, a lesson he decided to re recapture the tower on the hill and free the captives who are held there expecting ransom however I heard I however hard I tried to talk to him I talked him out of it. It was all in vain. Not long, not long ago, he disappeared, having left a letter in which he informed me that he's going to the going to the damned tower. But it's unlikely he and his friends will manage to deal with the uh, robbers, for they are still beardless lads. Sadly, my beloved Salpos, in spite of all my care, passed into the better world too soon. They have nobody else but you. To ask for help, please try to help William. Uh, make no doubt, I'll repay your kindness. Okay, let's maybe go to the rumors right away. Chests in Nor Norspur. Oh, wait, I know what I know. In Castle Norspur, well, the one that is north, uh, they treasure the blood of Christian children and store it in the in their dungeons. What nonsense! How do you know? I saw it myself when I served there. They deliver such chests, small but richly bound and very durable. You can see that at once, and nobody, not even the knights, are allowed to open them. And we, a common folk, were forbidden not even to look at them. So what do we wouldn't, to, so that we wouldn't talk about them later. So here's a question: What can there be inside? No, no, no doubt blood of the innocents in bottles. That's a leap of logic right there, if I ever seen one. 
so why the hell did you decide it must be blood there? There may be some jewels, emeralds, or diamonds, and all this stuff. As if you, if you know jewels, nobody hides jewels like that. I think there's some sort of a grass like the one Turks smoke. I used to have a neighbor. Maybe he, may he rest in peace, who fought in Turkey and told me some things. Turkey? You must be kidding. My brother sailed to revel in Riga and has ne ever been as far as Novgorod. He bought a trinket from there. If you look at it, it you can easily guess what what's in the chest. What's that? In every chest there is a one smaller chest. And what's in the smaller chest? There's one smaller in one. <laughs> and there's another in one in that. And smaller one in the previous one. And so on and so forth ever. Archbishop Otto. Did you know that old, old bishop died a long time ago? I'm just afraid to say so. Stop talking nonsense. This is very mu He's m very much alive. Then why does he never appear in Windfeld? He always appears on the third day of the of the month, uh, Saint Laundry Day. Uh, everybody saw him kneel before the relic during the service in church of Saint John the Baptist. <clears throat> that proves nothing. Even if he was dead, he would still visit him. He brings in so much money for the church that he would rise from the grave to make sure it was still there. Don't be surprised, my good man, if you are f if you find that your tongue is covered with ulcers and abscesses for uttering such foul words. Okay. Spam is support. Four range plus four range attack when mm. That's nice. Where are all the freaking... Ooh, that's a beautiful horse there. Where are all the crossbows, goddammit? I've seen, like, so many bows, but not a single crossbow. Well, I've seen that one crossbow, but decided not to buy it because it was more or less the same like as this. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, the sun is there. Um, that one is there. Strange person. A lake. What's lake? Um, Bilksy. This one, maybe? I may have organized a hideout, which you can get from underwater, to get to from underwater. You were told that Lenron's surely suppressed peasants rebellion. It's a lot of many people. They say that murdered peasants now walk. Okay. And that's not the castle I know of yet. Okay. And I definitely don't want to gauge these guys yet. Where does this road lead? Mm, don't think it leads where I need to be going. It doesn't seem like there's some sort of a thing here, but... It's not really leading me anywhere. So there's a tavern there. It looks like. Yeah. Mm. And there's mercenaries. Any new rumors? Just, yeah, I've heard that one. Goliard. We'll learn how much grief exists in the world and know this. We'll learn to honor ha the happiness that is afforded you by the hand of destiny. Learn about the destiny and of a king that was sentenced to eternal exile. Here he goes again. Everyone here knows it by heart already. Half of them actually witnessed it. And those who didn't see it heard from the others. 
Despite the grumbling of the tavern people, listeners gathered at, and, and the Goliard stars his story. About 30 years ago, there lived in these parts a knight by the name of Nicholas. About 30 years ago, uh, yeah, knight named Nicholas, his lands were taken by... Oh, that's the one-handed executioner, were taken by the enemy. His brother were, brothers were killed and his young wife died in childbirth, having nothing left but ashes. Wasn't that Nicholas that burned the church? Maybe. He entered the Duke's service. Once guarding the tower of the castle, he saw how Genefa tried to end her life by falling from... Yeah, yeah, that's him. From a high window, out of the disgust and fear for her betrothed. And he heard that House Mitra said that he would only abandon the wedding if the Elba burns and consumes the church in fire. The young knight realized that he could finally have revenge on his enemy. He called the guards under his command, uh, rode to the dockyard, liberated uh, barrels of tar, and returned to the island. He set the island ablaze, he dumped the spare barrels into the Elbe. One spark and his revenge was complete. But he was soon found out. Duke, uh, the Duke gave Smiter the right to come up with the punishment for Nicholas. The giant decided that death was too easy a punishment. He de demanded that Nicholas be stripped of his knighthood have his shield broken and read his last rites while he yet lived. Nicholas and his descendants would be castaways for all time and any person who met them had to spit and curse them. But the judge assistant objected and said that if punishment applied also to his descendants, they must have an opportunity to pay for their father's sins. The smiter answered and said, good, let them be castaways until they can prove that they aren't descendants of a dog. Let them throw their courage in the dirt to entertain the, the crowd. Uh, let them lose their honor and dice. Let them burn their conscience at the altar of Guiana. Uh, but no one knows how to do that, since then Nicholas wandered the earth, persecuted and hated by all, all until he disappeared without a trace. All memory of his existence became nothing but legend. When the story all finishes, there is a minute of silence. Some of the listeners pause to think, others study their feet, but the majority, uh, while, while silent, look on with indifference. It seems many know this story already. As I said before, I lived in those days myself. And even though I was a child, I saw with my own eyes the river and the island of this. I managed to sneak into the assembly room and heard the verdict. I saw Nicholas brought out of the church afterward. I heard a terrible fate. The, the man's last rites were read out while he yet lived. I told you the, the absolute truth and hope that you will, you will, will reward me with good coin. You, yeah, dream on. He's bored everyone's ears with his fairy tale. Okay. Let's move, continue moving towards uh, Winford, I guess, for now. And, uh, yeah. We'll try to find ourselves maybe a better. Hmm. Better infantryman. That won't try on away at the first. Uh, Sign of fighting. Hmm. There's some sort of a guards there. Okay. Can we see what's here? Yeah, uh, we heard about that. Also, only mercenaries. Well, come on, let's see what's in here. Above the din of conversation and the cries of the merchant, hear the voice of a street crier. Hear ye, good people of Windfeld. Casaviri from Orzlov, the king of thieves, has committed sacrilege to the Church of Rome and his good country. He has stolen a golden nimbus from the statue of Saint Laundry that overlooks the bridge of to the Temple Island. Uh, the Honorable Magistrate promises an 
ample reward to whoever apprehends the villain and returns the Nimbus to, to Saint on Laundry. And here also, this very morning's work, a knight of Order of Red Wolves has crossed over into the lands of Fischen and fought Johann von Zink. Zwerg lost his steed, Zink spoiled his costly dress, and a few broken noses were suffered on both sides, along with a few broken necks, legs, arms, and hands. Edward, from who was in Fischen, attacked Prior Quinn while under escort as he traveled to the Abbey. Quinn managed to fight the brigands, brigand off and seek refuge behind the walls of the Abbey. Elwald El has reportedly returned, okay. And now news of the greatest importance. Vegetable stand has been discovered to be the origin of the bad turnips causing numerous sickness including Quite severe breathing problems. Maestro Wagner, a doctor of medicine and alchemy, has secret on, of an instant recovery given to him by King Karl of France. A bandit with a human body and a dog nose, called Dog Nose by many, still on the prowl, stalking the good people of Winfred and uh, whatever. Chancellor Warren has personally promised a robot to anyone who catches the bandit. Hmm. I think I already heard something about dog news. Yep. Can we hire... Do you want this one? Because I have a noble, right? Ooh, I have the second level. But, mm. but my, mine will level up like on the next thing. Do I want to like... Yeah. I don't think it's worth it. It's like 55 gold. I will probably hire this guy. <coughs> Rudy the Stubborn. Though. Yep. Yeah. And sure, let's give him this shield. Because why not? Do you have any bows? Nope. There's a battle sword. Three melee, three initiative. What is that? Plus ten to melee attack, plus one wolf power. Looks pretty good. Okay. I think we are good here. Uh, I don't think I need to talk to you about anything, nope. Welcome to Winford, my dear lady. Are you here to look at my library? We've been, well, I've been collecting books for so many years. I've got in the collection a few hundred tomes. This certainly is in the library of Prague, Krakow. Nevertheless, it's the biggest collection of books in Old Dutch. Or keeping library and searching for new books is troublesome and costly. Uh, and that's why I charge 25 guilders uh, as a admittance fee to everyone to visit my library. Uh, I don't think I need to just yet. Any new rumors? Nope. And might as well talk to the counselor. Chancellor. Good day, my lady. My name is Alban von Wagner. I am the assistant to the Lord Chancellor. Before you see him, you must tell me what business you have with him. My name is Elizabeth, daughter of Leonard von Lehenstein, a close friend to Chancellor Werner. I must seek him on a personal matter. I wrote over close friend. Strange, but the Chancellor didn't say he was expecting such a visit. Well, last week I already had to send away a niece, an old friend, and a few bastards who turned out to be usual commoners. I don't appreciate your tone, Alban. Nevertheless, I hope you will allow me to pass. I suggest that you leave. I have a company of Duke's guards at my call. And force me to have uh, them drag you out. I have nowhere to go. I will wait here until the Lord Chancellor can see me. Even if I have to wait until Judgment Day. That is your right, but please wait for Judgment Day before behind the door. The hall outside the room is sparsely lit. Rays of light filter through small uh, frameless window, thus 
models uh, fall lazily in the night. Rest your back against the color, uh, cool stone wall and drowsiness washes over you. You wake suddenly, unsure of how long you have been dozing, heavy footsteps echo in the corridor and you hear an unmistakable clink of armor. A large figure enters your vision. His bulk seems to take up majority of the space between the walls. Scarred face looks down on you. You know, that's the one-armed young lady. Are you lost? I'm waiting for an audience with the Chancellor. I'll wait as long as I must. What is your need? Who are you, sir? Well, I know who's it. I fear my name will be bring you a little comfort. I'm M. Smiter, Duke's executioner. Then we do the same thing. We bring punishment and execution. My name is Elizabeth von Lehenstein. I intend to ask Lord Chancellor to help return my stolen lands and take vengeance on those who murdered my family. Lehenstein, you do look like your father, in a way. Well, I will give you a piece of advice. The key to open all doors is fame. If you wish to see Lord Chancellor and have him give you his time, make a name for yourself. If you can't catch uh, this dog nose and people talks, the people talk so much about it. Whatever the case, uh, know this. There is much more to the death of your family than you know. Okay. What are you talking about? What do you know of it? Wait, it's my turn. The executioner gives you a final looks and walks down the hall, his footsteps sounding like hammers on anvils. Whatever the case, his advice is sound. I have a good idea where this dog nose might be hiding. Um, which lake is that, though? Dog nose. Yeah, over there. Mm. Yeah, I think I'll go for the dog nose for now. Well, let's start this off for now. And off we go. Up along that road. And then over there, I think. Yeah. Go over for you. Some bandits, quite a lot of them, actually. Let's first try to find the bandit leader or whatever he is. Who's uh, Nata? The door to the hut seems to be, have been broken open, and as you walk inside, tables have been turned over, book, parchment litter the floor. The villagers are scouring the place, picking up cups and other stuff. What's going on here? You have captured a witch, my lady. May we burn her? <laughs> she was dragged to um, damp ravine village, where she, she'll she be burned. Or hung, maybe both. Lynching? What wrong has she done? She's an intimate with the devil himself and made poison that is so deadly that the rats in her house <laughs> lie dead. <laughs> yep, that's uh, <laughs> that's what it's burning for. That uh, that's a, that's the crime. Are uh, the murdered rats claiming that that justice be done upon her? We're telling you, she she's had something to do with the devil. She was able to cure such illness that nobody even in the Alms house by the church good. So if it, even if it uh, can be cured with God's help, whose help will cure it? Well, the devil's, of course. So are you going to burn her for curing you? Peasant spits in disgust and leaves the hut and shouts back to his companions who still scaring around, pilfering items. Uh, Henschlin, what's taking you so long? Let's make haste or we miss the execution. Okay, uh... Can I make my way over there? Yep, it's in here. Um, well, I might as well like do this quest, but I think I will do it uh, next time. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and uh, goodbye!